Are you a coach and are you looking to market your business through content? Then this is the video for you because we're going to be discussing some content marketing tips for coaches in 2022. Let's get started. Hi there. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Yoka. I'm the founder of Unbound Creative Agency, where we help entrepreneurs launch and scale lead generating personal brands. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing some practical tips to keep in mind for your content marketing as a coach. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get updates on future videos. And then let's dive in. So I think the number one tip that I can give you is to become hyper clear on who you are serving as a coach. So you really need to have your customer avatar because that will determine everything else that you create content wise or even on what platforms you're going to be present as a coach. So a lot of coaches, especially when it comes to sort of more the personal development side of things, are very broad in what they do. And so when I I am on calls with them and I ask them, okay, who do you serve? What actual transformation uh, do you facilitate? They don't really know the answer. So often this comes from a fear of thinking that if you niche down too much that you will cancel out a large part of the population and that could also be your clientele, etc. That is not true. So if you're too broad, people don't really know what you can help them with. Whereas if you can clearly state, hey, I am a coach in this field and I can help you achieve this or this is a transformation that I can facilitate that will attract the right type of people. But in order to do that, you first have to become really clear on who it is you are serving and what transformation you can actually help people with. But before you can do that, you have to become really, really clear and honest with yourself on what transformation can you actually facilitate? Who are you here to serve? Take some time to journal about that. A couple of examples could be someone who talks about relationships in general or someone who goes like, I help ambitious women attract the right kind of or like full embodied love into their life or a full embodied relationship. I have a lot of my friends who are coaches who are stuck in this thing of wanting to serve everyone and they're really great at talking about relationships and patterns and self-sabotage and all these things but because they talk about all of it especially when it comes to content marketing especially when it comes to your online presence often it sort of confuses people and people looking for specific help let's say with relationships or specific help with anxiety will go to people who are talking specifically about that so Take some time to journal about that. Take some time to sit with it and really become hyper clear on who it is that you are trying to serve and what transformation you can facilitate. So that would be my number one tip before even diving into the next tips. So tip number two is be realistic with your time investment. What I see very often when coaches hop on Instagram or YouTube or they launch a Pinterest and a blog and everything at once is that they become a little bit unrealistic with how much time it takes to create valuable content. So all of a sudden they, they think that they're going to be creating two or three reels a day in a YouTube video and they're going to be editing all this stuff by themselves. And that's not realistic. It takes a lot of time to create good content and you are a coach first, not a content creator first. You have to create content so that you can attract people to your business, but your business doesn't all of a sudden become a content creation business, if that makes sense. So become really realistic. Do you have one day a week that you can devote to creating content? Do you have one day a month? And then based on the amount of time you have, take a look at how much content can I realistically create? And then go from there. It is a lot more important to be consistent in the amount of content that you create, then for example, uploading three reels a day for two weeks and then disappearing altogether which is unfortunately something that I am an expert at. Uh, I get these bursts of energy to create a bunch of content and then the team edits it and then I post one or two a day and then I run out of content and that sort of kills your momentum every time. So even for me, it's being realistic with what can I do? Maybe three a week is more realistic than three a day. Let's stick with that. So that would be my tip number two. It will help you in the long run. Don't look too much at what other people are doing and become really, really focused on what it is that you can do and how you can serve in a consistent way, how you can show up in a consistent way online. 
Number three is plan for your success, aka consistency. I already touched upon this in the previous tip, but the way that I like to do it is really plan when I will be creating my content. For example, now I am sitting down this week and I will be creating 36 YouTube videos, both for my personal channel and this channel that you're watching right now. And that way the team can go to work and I can forget about creating content for the next four months. Because again, like I said, I always get these bursts of energy and then I create content and then I forget about it. So I had to figure out what works for me and how I can plan for my success. And for me, planning for success means I take a week each four months or each three months and I shoot all my content and then I hand it off to other people who will do the editing and the uploading and the scheduling so that I can forget about it because that's not my strong suit. That's not what I excel at. I excel at building businesses and building teams and training people and so I don't want to be involved in those other parts so that's something that you have to take a look at as well how can you plan for your success can you batch create all of your content like I do in one week every three four months do you need to hire someone really take a look at what you're good at and what you're not so good at and then make that work for you Number four is systems for the win. I already touched upon this in tip number three, but this is really where you're gonna take a look at how much of this process can I outsource or automate? You need to have a system in place, especially if you're gonna be creating a ton of content. So we're not talking one YouTube video a week, even though even there you could implement a system where you outsource to a video editor. But if you're gonna be doing YouTube or Instagram and Pinterest and a bunch of other things as well, you're gonna wanna take a look at how can I streamline my process so that you really only have to operate from your zone of genius, which is talking about what you do well, talking about what you love, coaching people and creating content around that, and then having systems and people in place who do the editing and scheduling and writing captions etc. For example, for me, I also do a podcast. It's called The Conscious Creators. And the only thing that I do is I still do the outreach because I want to really be specific with the guests that I invite for my show. But then I basically just record the episode. I upload everything to a Google Drive. And then I have a built-in system where a podcast producer listens to the episode, fills out the briefing form, then probably like 70 different tasks get triggered and everyone gets notified on deadlines, etc. And TikToks get cut from that episode. Instagram Reels, we have graphic graphics made. Someone else goes and writes the captions and schedules it. But all I do is I record the episode and upload it to a Google Drive. And then I basically forget about it and everything is handled for me. So that is one example of how a system and automation and other people can help you out in creating a bunch of content without you having having to invest your time on every single task or every single piece of content that is created from that one podcast episode. Tip number five would be to invest in a scheduling tool. Now I say invest, but there are actually a bunch of options out there that offer a free version. For example, we use Buffer at the agency and I do know that they also have a free version where you can connect up to three profiles, three social media profiles, and then you can use that to schedule your content. Once you start creating a bunch of content, I would say just invest in the paid version because that has more features and will allow you to really schedule out months in advance. The only unfortunate thing about scheduling tools at the moment is that there is no scheduling tool out out there that is able to schedule Instagram reels. But I did record a video a little while ago on how you can schedule your Instagram reels a little while ago. So we'll make sure to link it somewhere up here. Tip number six is outsource as quickly as you can. So I can't say this enough and maybe this should just be the main theme of this video. You are a coach, you're not a content creator. You use content to attract people to your business, but you are not a full-time content creator. So yes, stay in your zone of genius, record the videos, record the podcast, write the blog articles, but then have other people in place to do the editing and the scheduling for you because that is not your job. You shouldn't be spending time on that. That's not your core business activity. So outsource as quickly as you can. Now, if you want to know more about how you can build your own systems, how you can start outsourcing, there is a link 
for a free training in the description down below and it will show you our exact systems that we use to generate over 200 million in high ticket sales for our clients last year alone all through organic content marketing with the systems and the people that we have at the agency and i show you our exact strategy and systems on the training so you can even just copy paste that if you want to there is a link in the description down below then tip number seven is batch create your content i've already touched upon this when i said plan for success but it is such a crucial one that i want to sort of highlight it separately if you don't batch create your content it's going to suck the living energy out of you you will be creating content day in and day out and again that's not your job so try and find a way that you can create a lot of content in a short amount of time Again, we have a video on that and we will link it somewhere up here, but find a way that works for you. And from the experience that I have for myself, but also we've worked with over a hundred clients at this point, we've never had anyone enjoy creating content every single day. It just isn't fun. Like it's really time consuming and often even just the time that it takes to get out of your own head, to start creating content. Often the most time consuming part for me is just to get myself to sit down and press record because I get into my own head and then I find these little things to do that aren't really that important but must be done right now before I can create content. And if that happens every single day, you're wasting so much time. So find a day a month, a week every four months to just bash create your content have the systems, have the team or, or freelancers in place so that you can outsource it to them. And then you can really go back and focus on what you're good at, which is coaching, helping your clients, serving your clients. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with someone else who could use this information. And then in the meantime, watch these videos over here and then I will see you next time.